Hi Ian, firstly, thank you very much for the compliment. I really do try to put as much effort as possible into all these videos, even when I'm traveling. Uh, just got the email off you, and I'm sorry for the late response to you, as I've been driving from Berlin back to the UK, but decided to have a week of a bit of a break here in Northern Holland, up by the Western Frisian Islands, and I'll show you around in a second. Uh, firstly, let's address this problem with the heat pump tumble dryer. You say you've got a model number T76385AH3. Now these heat pump tumble dryers, uh, firstly the problem that you've said is it's turning off after 30 minutes. You did not tell me if the clothes in the drum were warm. This is very important because this will give me an indication whether the compressor and the evaporator and condenser is working correctly and the correct gas levels are in the machine. Heat pump tumble dryers I am not a fan of. They're extremely hard to work on and even after going and visiting Electrolux stand at the Berlin show I notice now they're putting a lot more uh, filter systems in to all these new dryers. This is because all the manufacturers are aware that all this dust from the clothing gets into the evaporator or condenser and it clogs the system. So anyway, if it's turning off after 30 minutes, you want to check inside the drum. Now I'm creating you a web page where I've got you the full workshop manual, wiring diagram and every other bit of information I could gather for this machine. But sometimes there's two bars inside the drum at the front of the machine. Now if these uh, build up with a layer of uh, film on top of the bars, it gets false readings on the humidity level of the clothing. And therefore this could be one of the reasons the machine is turning off. Another reason the machine may be turning off is due to a humidity sensor. Uh, this can be an NTC sensor or it could be a temperature sensor. There are many sensors on these heat pump tumble dryers that can cause the problem. Without having the machine in front of me, it is a real hard one. But what I will tell you is it's worth the effort of stripping the machine down and cleaning everything. You will be amazed how much dust has built up on the evaporator and the condenser uh, cooling systems and the heating system. Because the way the heat pump tumble dryers work is it's a refrigeration unit, but it uses both sides of the uh, cooling system. The heating system, which expels the heat out of the fridge and the cooling side that keeps the cool in the fridge. The way it works in a tumble dryer is the hot side is used to heat the air to do actually evaporate the moisture off the clothing and the condensing side is used to collect the molecules of uh, moisture out of the air, condense them into water and then the pump then transfers them to the collection tray. So there's many problems that can occur but usually these dryers become very inefficient after four to five years and this is one of the big problems with them. I love heat pump technology but the problem being is when you're including it with dust it is a very very hard one to stop that dust going into the wrong places and this is why all the manufacturers now are putting a much greater filtration system in. Anyway as I said I've put everything in the link on this video which will take you to the page it's got all the information you need to have a chance of repairing the machine. Do be aware you will need your PNC number when ordering parts because you're not in the UK. It looks like you're in Scandinavia somewhere uh, by the telephone number. So I would suggest making sure whether you order the parts off us or someone else, you use your full PNC number to get the correct parts. Anyway, just before I actually sign off this video, I thought I'd give you a scan round, a beautiful location uh, right on the end of Holland. And I couldn't ask for better weather. The whole trip has been fantastic. It was even 30 degrees in Berlin, which was which I wasn't expecting and I'm very lucky that my camper has got Starlink on it uh, that allows me to make all these uh, videos and answer customers emails while on the go. It actually helps me more than it helps you because I don't have that great big pile of work to get back to. I can keep on top of it all the time. I hope this helps you. Have a great day mate. Goodbye from Holland.